Okay, I'm back with RIP 186. Now, last time you would have seen this car, it would have been engineering at Heathcote Park Raceway. Since then, it has been engineered. It's nearly ready to hit the road. And I want to talk to you today about the exhaust system. Okay, so here in front of us is another system I've just pulled off the shelf, laid it all out and dummy, fitted it together to explain to you guys of what we've done, how we've done it and what it looks like. Now, before we do that, quick rundown on the car. It has done just over a thousand kilometres. Now, as everyone knows in the automotive industry, the best thing you do to test a car is get some time in the seat. Now, with the tray plate on, we've been to Heathcote Park Raceway. We brake tested it, noise tested it. The engineering team, which was three guys, put it through the ringer. Uh, since then, we've driven it back. Uh, also been down to Geelong, we left the car down there for a couple of weeks to finish the engineering off on it and now we're back again. So that's the car, LS in it, Viking coil lovers, all the rod shop gear, the 9 inch diff and the thing drives awesome. Wrapped with it, really happy. So hopefully in the next week or two, off to Vic Roads, roadworthy, driving on the road and then we can really enjoy the car. So now onto the exhaust system, as we can see here, there is a few different components and ways you can buy it. now. A lot of guys that have been buying for a lot of years now is the extractor kit by itself. Now, we see the extractors here, uh, they can be sold individually. All right, quick rundown if you buy the extractors by themselves, you will get the gaskets, two bolt flange gaskets, extractor gaskets, which are twin layer stainless steel. So they're all stainless the gaskets. Get a bolt kit. Now, size wise, inch and three quarter to inch and seven eight. Two and a half outlet, oxy bunk set up for clearance, and away we go. Now, extractors by themselves, uh, best way to buy them value wise is normally in the LS kit. Uh, so, jump online, check out the LS kit, most guys do it that way. Now, moving on, full system. Okay, so away from the extractors here, the rest of the system we have 200 CFM cat on each side, which is set up for engineering. Now, that will pass engineering for all purposes. We have O2 sensor port at the rear of the cats. So the way we've got it with our four sensors set up here, you can have LS1, 2, 3, LSA, the system will work with all. We have a balance pipe set up. Uh, now the reason we ran a balance pipe, not an X pipe, is for clearance reasons. You want to run the factory handbrake cable system. Now we've got the Willwood handbrake cable system up there, but if you are running factory, it gives you more clearance. Uh, you'll see the little kicker in the hump we've got up in front there. That'll clear all our gearbox cross members. So whatever transmission or gearbox you are going to run with the rod shop kit, you'll have plenty of clearance. We run back, dual muffler system, and then we kick up over the diff. Now, with our diff clearance, as we shuffle back with the diff clearance, that will clear the nine inch diff, will clear the factory suspension in the rear, come out the back, uh, and have a nice little hanger on each side with a dual system, two and a half outlet. Noise wise, as you've seen at Heathcote Park, we've done a noise test. On it. Now, if your car is a factory LS engine, you should have no dramas passing a noise test. For you guys, blowers or anything else, cams, heads, if you're going to do work on the engine, we will change the volume of the car and we will not guarantee on the noise. Now, bang for buck on this thing, you're better off buying the whole system in one go, but you don't need to. Now, if you've got a different set of extractors or another brand, there's no guarantee our system will bolt up and probably won't, but small modification in the front half, I still think it is good value for money. Right, so as you guys can hear, that's got a sweet note at idle, really happy with that. Uh, if you want to hear it on the limiter or put some RPM into it, check out some other episodes where we went to Heathcote or we went on the Rod Shop burnout pad. Uh, really happy the way it's come up. Won't be long now, official plates on, we'll be able to do a lot more cruising and hopefully a lot more footage for you guys to watch. Uh, hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, see you again.